The shadow acted like an hour hand. That's the little hand on our clocks. And it told people just what time of day it was. There was one big problem with the sundial. It was no good when the sun was not shining. So people started thinking up all kinds of other ways to make clocks. There were water clocks, oil clocks, candle clocks, and hourglasses. All these clocks were interesting and different, but they still didn't divide time up into small enough parts. What do you mean? Well, lots of time goes by between one hour and the next. I'll show you what I mean. I made cardboard clock faces with hands that move for each of you so that we can tell a little time. Science class started at 10 o'clock. I'll move the little hand to the 10 and the big hand to the 12. You move your clock hands too. By now, some time has passed, but not enough to get us all the way to 11 o'clock. Now the minute hand, that's the big hand, gets important. It's just halfway between 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock, Nick. How does your clock show that? It's 10.30. That's when the little hand points toward the 10 and the big hand points to the 6, like this. Everybody move the hands on your clocks. Every time the time is halfway between one hour and the next hour, the big hand is pointing at the 6. For instance, what time is lunch? 12.30! Right. Move the clock hands so the little one points to the 12, and the big one points to the 6. What time is school over? 2.30! Right. The easiest time of day for me to remember. Let's move our clocks to 2.30. Little hand on the two, big hand on the six. So when you see the big hand pointing to the six, don't forget that that's always half past the hour. Once people figured out the clock face and hands, they invented mechanical clocks that you wound up, and they would run themselves. Now we have electric clocks that wake us up when it's time to go to school turn the lights on and off in our house when we go on vacation, and help us send rockets into space. Lots of our clocks don't even have hands anymore. What time is it? What? What time is it? I bought you a present. Oh, thanks. A watch. I've wanted one of these things for a hundred thousand years. Thanks. You're welcome. People have made up lots of different ways to tell time, but one thing has always stayed the same. We need to know what time it is so that we know when things are happening. Very good report, Nick. I'd say you deserve an A+. Plus. And you finished just in time. 12 o'clock. Big hand on the 12? Little hand on the 12. Have a nice day. Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Time. While Nick's on his way to lunch, I thought I'd come by and chat with y'all. You know, even when you're small, it's a good idea to know what time it is so you know when to do the things you do every day. So I made up this little dance to help you learn how to tell time. It's called the time dance, and it's a whole lot of fun. Are you ready to do it with me? Good! All right. Now, everybody stand up and make yourself nice and straight. Good! We'll pretend that your arms are just like the hands of a clock, see? Since it's 12 o'clock right now, why don't we start at 12 o'clock, too? Good idea! So, stick your arms way up high over your head. That's right! The big hands on the 12 and the little hands on the 12. Oh, here we go! Well, just take some time, come along with me, cause I'm Dr. Time and I'm here to see that you'll learn a little bit about the reason and rhyme of a thing that we call telling time. 
Come on, everybody. Let's do the time dance. Yeah. Now the big hand's on the 12 and the small one is two. So it's 12 o'clock and what we're gonna do is jump up and down for each hour on the clock. Let's jump 12 times, run around the block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. Now everybody run in a little circle. We call that going around the block. Yeah. Now take the small hand and move it over here right where the three would be. Now the big hand's on the 12 and the small hand's on the three. It's three o'clock, you're doing the time dance with me. Jump up and down for each hour on the clock. Let's jump three times and run around the block. A one, two, three. Now everybody run around the block. Now take some time and come along with me Cause I'm Dr. Time and I'm here to see That you learn a little bit about the reason and rhyme Of a thing that we call telling time The big hand's up, the little one's down It points to the six, we're going to town Six o'clock and it's time for dinner You're looking real good, you're a time-telling winner Jump up and down for each hour on the clock Let's jump six times and run around the block One, two, three, four, five, six Good! Everybody around the block and we'll do one more Now take the small hand and move it over here Right where the nine would be Now the big hand's on the twelve and the small hand's on the nine It's nine o'clock and we're all doing fine Jump up and down for each hour on the clock Let's jump nine times and run around the block One, two, three Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And around the block we go. Now you know a little more about telling time. The thing to remember is this. When the big hand's on the 12, all you have to do is look at where the little hand's pointing to. Doesn't matter if it's 12, 3, 6, or 9. You're doing all right and you're telling time. Now everybody around the block one more time. And when you finish, fall down on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's 12, 3, 6, or 9. You're doing all right, and you're telling time. And that's the time dance. Oh, you all did good. The time dance. I'll see ya. Goodbye. That's the time dance. Woo. Thank you, Dr. Time. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Nick's day at school. It's 1 o'clock. Big hands on the 12, little hands on the 1. Nick is at gym class now. The time day races are about to begin. We are just in time for the wheelbarrow race, and the excitement is mounting. There's a big clock set up at the end of the field to time the racers as they streak down the track. The newspaper photographers are here to take pictures of the champions. All right, everybody ready? Then take your mark, get set, go. And the race has begun. The seconds are ticking away as the contestants barrel down the track. Tommy Jones and Jimmy Johnson are in front and holding the lead with Nick and Bobby trying hard to overtake them. 13 seconds have gone by and we may be looking at a new school record. Here come Bobby and Nick and they are tied for the lead. Only half a lap to go and the crowd is on its feet. And as they cross the finish line, Bobby and Nick win by a nose and set a new school record of 29 seconds. What a race. What a finish. Nick and Bobby are new school champions. What a fabulous time day this has been. Hours, minutes, and seconds of pure excitement. It's 2 o'clock. The big hand is on the 12. The little hand is on the 2. Oh, my. Telling time really is something. Let's go down to the playground where the band is playing the clock song and everyone is cheering and having carrot cake. Clap your hands to the beat of the clock song. Clap your hands with me. Nine o'clock, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, twelve. One o'clock, two o'clock, three. School ended at 2.30. Remember how important that big minute hand can be when you want to know what time it is and you're somewhere between one hour and the next. 2.30, big hand on the six, little hand pointing toward the two. Our two champions, Bobby and Nick, head for the park, but they're too tired to play ball as they had planned. 
They'd talk about the thrill of their victories for a while and just toss the ball back and forth. At 4.30, big hand on the six, little hand on the, you guessed it, on the four. Bobby's feeling a little hungry, and Nick decides to go home and play with his dog, Spock. Nick is walking down Main Street when he hears a commotion. There's a baby carriage rolling down the sidewalk, and the baby's mom is trying to catch it. Nick breaks into a championship run and stops the carriage just before it rolls into the street. A crowd of people gather round to congratulate our hero, and the baby's mother gives Nick a big kiss. Gee. Meanwhile, back at home. Oh, it's five o'clock. The big hand is on the twelve, and the little hand is on the five. Time to pick up Dad from the train station. It's five o'clock. I'm sure tired out, but everything's a okay. Nick and Dad are coming home. We'll have a nice family dinner and talk about our busy day. There's so much to do and never enough time to do it. Seems like you're just getting started on something and you run out of time to get through it. What time is it? I thought today was time day at school. Don't you know how to tell time yet? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Let's see. Big hands on the 12. Little hands on the 6. Got it. 6 o'clock. Dinner time. Boy, am I hungry as a dinosaur. You wouldn't believe all the stuff that happened today. Well, tell us all about it at dinner, Nikki. Go wash up. Fred, turn off the news. Dinner's ready. Wait a second, wait a second. Come here, everyone. And now for a most timely story. Our hats are off tonight to seven-year-old Nick O'Time, who had quite a day. Young Nick set a new record in the wheelbarrow event at Central School's Time Day Races. If that wasn't enough, Mr. O'Time also saved Elsie Cronenwetter's baby by stopping her runaway carriage before it rolled into busy Main Street traffic. Nick will be receiving the town's Medal of Heroism, and I'd say he well deserves it. Why, Nicky! Congratulations, son. You're obviously a young man who knows how to be in the right place at the right time. Well, who could that be at this hour? Package for Nick a time. Open it, Nicky. Oh, boy, a watch. It's from the school. My prize for winning the races. Boy, what a day. Let's have dinner, and you can tell us all about it. <laughs> 